Hi there, and welcome back to Dark Souls for Dummies, the only series where we show you everything you need to know for your Dark Souls 3 journey. So, you just made it past the Cathedral of the Deep, and now you're on to the Deacons of the Deep. So, before we jump on in there, um, you're going to want to bring your weapon of choice, and then also um, a set of armor, unless you don't want to wear armor, but I would recommend having armor, especially the knight armor, because it has amazing damage absorption. Okay, next you're going to want the Lloyd's Sword Ring. Um, that makes it so you do more damage when you have full health. Also the Covetous Silver Serpent Ring to make it so when you beat the boss you'll get more souls for it. The Estus Ring um, to make it so your magic Gatorade does more healing. And then the Fire Clutch Ring which makes it so your Charcoal Pine Bundle and Charcoal Pine Resin do more damage. Okay, also, you're going to want to bring in some Alluring Skulls, and of course the usual char uh, Charcoal Pine Resin and Charcoal Pine Bundles. So, go ahead and apply the resin before you go into the fight, and just enter the boss door. So you're going to want to run straight down the middle towards the red one and smack him around. That's going to shoot Red Ball into the air, that will land on another one of the Deacons, and turn him red, and you always want to kill the one that's red. Because that's what's going to hurt the boss's health bar, is by killing the ones that are red. And then if you don't do it fast enough, the red will actually shift to another Deacon, so make sure to take them out pretty much as soon as the Red Ball lands on them. Okay, so this will only take probably five or six of these to get them down to half health and trigger second phase. So I just keep shipping away at them for that one. And then of course if you need to apply more um, charcoal pine bundles to your weapon. Also take note that the red ball can go to the side of the chairs, so if you can't find the red ball immediately, always make sure to check there. Also, when the next phase starts, go ahead and apply a bundle. And backstab the middle one that's glowing red. And then run out, throw an alluring skull. Get back in there, smack him around a couple times. Then you can run back out again, throw another alluring skull. Go ahead and throw down another bundle. And then get right back to the red one. Smack him around a couple times again. Get your last learning skull. Throw that. One more bundle for good measure. And down he goes. And that is how you beat the Deacons of the Deep using a knight. Okay, now that you've beaten the Deacons of the Deep using a knight, I'm going to show you how to beat them using a sorcerer. So what you're going to want for this fight is your sword of choice again and your sorcerer's staff. Um, also, I'm going to be using the Young Dragon Ring to make it so my sorcerers are more powerful, the Covetous Silver Serpent Ring to make it so the boss drops more souls, the Estus Ring, and the Lloyd Sword Ring. The other things you're going to want is, of course, the Alluring Skull, and then the spells I'm going to be using is Pestilent Mist, Soul Great Sword, Great Fair and Dart, and Great Magic Weapon. So. Go ahead and apply Great Magic Weapon before you walk into the boss store, and also buff your staff. So then after that, just go ahead and walk on in there, and run down the middle just like last time. He'll only take about two hits, because the Great Magic Weapon is basically like the Charcoal Pine um, resin as far as the damage. So basically you're going to want to save most of your focus points until the second phase of the fight where you can really start hammering in the DPS against the second phase. So when he summons in, go ahead and just cast Pestilent Mist a few times, just around him. So that will damage the boss and everything around him, which is very nice. And then also, if you have to get to him in a hurry, you can throw out Soul Greatsword and slash him. So that's always helpful. As soon as the Pestilent Mist wears off, go ahead and throw an Alluring Skull down. And get back in there with the Mist. 
Maybe throw in a couple of great Farron darts for good measure. A couple of sword swings. Make sure you don't stay in the mist for too long so you don't lose all your health. And then you should be able to just finish them off after the second mist and be good to go. So that's how you beat the Deacons of the Deep using a Sorcerer. If you enjoyed, please remember to like and subscribe to continue getting back to the basics.